this is a very affluent area by the way there's always nice cars here and i always see randomly see welcome to my british pakistani life this could be a good thumbnail anyways just getting a bit too excited i love this area i really like it f6 is my favorite so telling my parents they see parents not just any parents they see old school parents that i'm going to islamabad to enjoy some nice delicious food so i have to pitch it to them in a way that they understand because they're always saying don't go out the food's not good it doesn't have good flavor they don't use good ingredients it's old food it's too expensive we can make better at home so let's talk to them properly and hopefully it'll work we're going to islamabad all right uh we're gonna go to this cafe we're gonna eat food that's not really nice eh? we're gonna eat food that's not really nice it doesn't have good taste to it it's probably old it seems like the convincing worked guys we are going to expectation in uh, Islamabad little tree a little day off both of us me and my wife have been working and as you know I work online as a GCSE physics tutor to kids in the UK my wife is a therapist and she works online as well and uh, I think it feels like the heat wave is calming down the heat's more bearable uh, it's probably about 35 degrees right now when normally it'll be 42 or 40 at this time so people were asking how do I make the flat that I live in insect proof or lizard proof or you know stray cat proof because stray cats do get over from the rooftops so I've got this uh, netting going on metal netting that's been welded on all the way uh, above the courtyard and then down here we've got a netted door covering the UPVC door that's also completely sealed so have a look at that sealed top to bottom sealed yeah and then obviously this is sealed the door is obviously larger than that this is sealing the door from the top and then we've got the brush at the bottom that is sealing the bottom the windows in the kitchen have also got metal netting and then on the other side we've got double glazed UPVC windows that shut and completely seal themselves just like this door does uh, and when we do open it it has a net so this is the UPVC double glazed window completely seals itself and then we've got the netting this is called zigzag to make it here in Pakistan the whole thing is made in Pakistan I think unless the frame is imported I don't remember what they were saying but yeah it's a local company that fitted this in for me so it, it kills the noise as double glaze would do and it also completely seals itself from left right top and bottom welcome welcome to the kitchen so have a look netting 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 all the way down there and on the side i filled it with uh, silicone so it's all completely sealed off this is our kitchen guys alhamdulillah say mashallah allahumma barik designed it all on my own never ever in my life have i designed a kitchen before and uh, I'm telling you, it was very, very stressful. Why am I telling you this? It's because I'm always being contacted by people watching my content. I'm just gonna go and start the car. <coughs> so I'm always being contacted by random viewers will be watching my content content for a while now and they are in the process of making the move so one of the commonly asked questions is you know what it is i just want to be that one person just that one person that you you know you can contact and you can get that little bit of advice sometimes just that little bit of advice goes a long way and that's what i needed when i was coming to pakistan i had nobody and everyone I was talking to were like, oh, you need to earn a lot of money, it's too expensive. The rupee is going through a crisis, which it was at the time. The rupee was actually going through a crisis. And since I've been here, I've witnessed two more 
times where the rupee has plummeted so i was talking to somebody recently he sent me a voice note he's gonna spend the next five years trying to plan his move bring all of his family here and live in his father's house in the village so he wanted a bit of advice and i said look you have to be earning enough to survive even in the village because he will need to take his kids out to the city just to give them that peace of mind that little bit of a break because in the village you won't have those activities or parks available or that entertainment that the kids need or you need as adults you just you you can't go from living in the west straight into the village straight away and expect everything to run smoothly even right now there's a families living in the village and they're still traveling out to islamabad every month or so just to give the kids that little bit of break they stay in hotels they stay in apartments uh, it does cost a bit of money uh, having said that my advice to him was your father's house is there oh myra's waiting for me your father's house is there uh renovate it because it's not going to be to uk standards it is not going to be the, you know it's not going to be the way you want it to be you need those acs you could nobody's going to last without ac you need the ACs, you need to seal the doors, you need to seal the windows, you need to make that extra effort of finishing things off, making things look nice, making things look beautiful, getting the right type of furniture. Maybe you have to get rid of all the charpai, the the wooden beds, woven wooden beds that they have here, maybe getting the proper beds with the foam mattress. It needs to be comfortable for you and your family. Spend that money now within that five years that you are, that you are, aiming and planning to move here get all the big costs out of the way so that once you are here it's just your day-to-day -day running and people are here living six months without working and then going back to the uk i need to put my seatbelt on going back to the uk working for no sorry working for four months and then coming back staying for six months something like that so that that is one option that some people are doing here that are living here as well they're doing that so i think it's best to get a lot of the costs out of the way and gone least favorite road GT road they're resurfacing the road and I do like how they're randomly building new roads and filling potholes I uh, really do like that Welcome to B17 guys This is B17, one of the entrances, gate one, gate number one. They've got a lot of development in there. They tried to make it out as if it is CDA, but it's actually not. All this time I thought it was CDA, but it's not. Interesting. 
So right by B17 B17 is part of Islamabad by the way As Islamabad is be, uh, becoming larger and larger So this is Mergala Expressway That links B17 all the way to downtown Islamabad This route or route All of the fires are still going on this route will get you into downtown Islamabad within 10, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Because of the heat wave, and I've seen a TikTok about this, there's, there are a lot of fires due to the heat on Margala Hills, and there, I can see them there now. So people were praying for rain. As soon as it rains, it will cool down. It's just a bit too hot right now. You know it's illegal to be ringing me whilst I'm driving. I'm not in the lawless country of uh, UK. Yeah, but it's still against the law here. I think so, but uh, it's on hands free anyway. I don't know. I don't actually know. One cool thing about downtown Islamabad, which I hope they never change, is you've got all the hustle and bustle, the beautiful, nice cars here, and important buildings, and embassies, and shops, and businesses, and families all merged into one. And the way they've done it is really clever that every embassy just looks like a normal home just like this one here I think that's the Egyptian embassy or something so there's a few embassies on this particular road I think one was China I've just seen it on the map something about China so they have official important buildings here and then this is a school we've been here before uh, what was the name of the school? do you remember my name? Yeah, but it's got a school there as well. Oh, we're getting there. Then you take a random left like this, and you think, okay, this is just a normal street, just some houses here, maybe some offices, we don't know. And you think, yeah, it's a beautiful road. Have a look at it. You know, it just looks nice and cozy and peaceful and quiet. Not a single car on the road, either behind us or in front of us. these houses are worth a lot of money they're in the millions of pounds and then you've got this big beautiful park kids playing and then uh, I know back there is a masjid that I've been to pray at before Myra's head in the video and then it looks like homes are here some of these are homes some of these are offices yeah that's a house Another house here, Maria? Nothing. Maybe, maybe there's a patch of there. And then further down here, we'll have another park coming up, it says on the map. Yep, so we're on that same road. We've got two Domino riders talking to each other here. Boycott Dominoes, guys. Keep up with the boycotts. There are plenty of alternatives, especially here in Pakistan. There's Cheezios, there's Pizza Bays, amongst others. So, and then look at this. Right by a park, which is on the left, which I can't show you just yet, my wrist right here. We've got this really nice, busy, oh, look at that. Uh, with the UK number play, we'll go up to that in a bit. This busy little high street, full of restaurants, cafes. And then further up, it just goes back to to homes again. So this is the park I was just talking about. So this is F6 slash 3. Islamabad. And we're going to the place on the left. But I just wanted to go up to the car with a uh, British number plate. Myra's just following me. Let's have a look. It's just down here. Fresh import. Let's make. Let's try and not make it obvious that I'm here to record the car. So, 
generally the people that contacted me have uh, are, well, are trying to plan and they're trying to budget as best as they can so i'm just going past the car now here it is there it is yeah so it's always good to see a familiar car with a familiar number plate i'll get the front side as well i just love seeing that white yellow you know yellow on the back and white on the front um this is a very affluent area by the way there's always nice cars here and i always see randomly see welcome to my british pakistani lad this could be a good thumbnail anyways just getting a bit too excited i love this area i really like it f6 is my favorite a lot of rich people are here you randomly see four by fours full with the security all with guns ak-47s on the back yeah so i don't i don't normally get the well-off people contacting me should we get a table inside or outside uh, you'll have ac on inside but i think they've got some sort of a system where they can have ac on outside even i think we've got a cooler that's our little cozy little table here so yeah so the people that contact me generally are trying to budget or trying to plan ahead trying to sort out that income where they can just live here on 1500 or so a month so they don't have to go back the ones the people that walib salam those that don't really contact us will well contact me are people that are well off that have everything sorted they've got land they've got property they've got houses on rent they've got apartments on rent already they've got somewhere to live they don't need to worry about ac they don't need to worry about anything everything's well prepared for them they've got the income so they're the people that don't normally contact for advice they just contact to to uh, uh network they just want to join my whatsapp groups they just want to meet all they just want to have a chat yeah look at this menu okay Myra what are you gonna do everything everything seems all right so we're going for the Greek god which is special homemade white sauce bread on flatbread with mozzarella and feta cheese grilled chicken mushroom red onion spinach black olives and tomato maybe that's what it looks like we'll find out and the other thing we're going for is jalapeno and caper chicken grilled chicken with our in-house special caper and jalapeno sauce served with sauteed veggies so it should look like that now we just need to choose some drinks okay. they've got freshly hand squeezed juices and then they've got the uh, smoothies and homemade lemonade with mint that's what i'm gonna have okay two homemade lemonades with milk mint please yeah i want the same okay okay where's the waiter waiter hello order please so expectation restaurant car they're in pakistan canada usa uae qatar and egypt not the uk <laughs> not the uk yeah should we try the coffee here as well i wonder if it's good because it seems like they import things in from other countries as well we had tuna here it was really nice okay waiter's on his way come on waiter where are you oh he's not on his way we have been left waiterless okay he's coming salam bhai kaise bhai ek greek got chahi so order's been placed what i'm gonna do is look at uh instagram and uh google photos and see what desserts other people have been ordering what they look like or what they recommend and then i can order that i think thinking maybe we get one dessert item we get one dessert i think so one yeah uh are you gonna have a coffee nope i'm gonna try the mocha I'll have a sip of yours though. Are you sure you don't want a hot chocolate? Nope. How are we going to eat all this? We've got a meal each. Okay. So, we eat it with our mouth. 
blueberry pancake and I'm gonna have a mocha. I need to try the mocha. I guess you could pack the waffle and take it home. Do not Yeah. It seems that you want to try both. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay, go for it. Can you take a picture? Anywhere. Anyway. Food is here. Look at that plate of mess. And then the Greek pizza looks like on the flatbread. It says flatbread, but it looks like pizza. So the brothers just cleared the desk the table for us. I was about to call it desk. So the desk has been cleared. It was amazing whilst we were eating we could hear the adhan and um, the food was on point guys absolutely delicious we've gone all out today we haven't held back i just really want to see how much the total is i've just ordered my blueberry uh, pancake with the extra scoop of vanilla to go with that and a mocha cafe mocha so Let's try that, pay the bill, head off to the mosque and pray my grip. You're gonna walk to pee off. Guys, food, food, dessert, drink, spot on. Now is the time to reveal the heartache, the bill. Can you see the waiter anywhere? Come on then, Myra. Oh, it's dark, it's dark. The camera's not doing well in the dark. Guys, that, that whole meal, do you know how much it was? Guess. Guess, it's expensive. This place is expensive. It's never cheap. Can't see me in the camera, but yeah. Uh, Take a guess. Think... Myra's taking a guess, guys. Myra thinks it was 12,000. You'll be surprised how much it cost. 7,700. Really? Yeah, I'm assuming because uh, the things that. Yeah, but still, we, we can spend 12,000 in one go. Yeah, so 7,700 straight away, guys, just eating at one place. Now, if we spend the whole day here in Islamabad, we can easily, very quickly, stack up that 15,000. And if you consider petrol as well which is about 2,000 so yeah 7,700 for that meal well enjoyed it Mary just checking this just outside all the restaurants here there's a That's a to be little good. bookshop That's supposed to be good, I heard. 40 rules mm. of love mm. and then in the far distance they've got rugs can you see them rugs Mary? they look interesting and then yes. down there they've got paintings think <laughs> and grow rich all right is that what I need Oh, this is meant to be good as well. I like the image here. Which one? The Japanese okay. secret, uh, long happy life. About purpose. Saladin. The life, the legend, the Islamic empire. Mashallah. This, we knew who is the Saladin of today. Saladin. So this is, oh my God, look at that. It's 10.99, 10.99p. But here, it's literally only a thousand rupees. Which is like two pound eighty. Should we get this one? I like it. Sure, get it. Price car, final price care? 900. No, so. So it's giving it me even cheaper, 900. Oh, what about me and Rumi? You want that? Me and Rumi? Yeah, I want that. William C. Chituk. Yeah, BJ. Dozak Nama. He's got the. Yeah? Dozak Nama. Dozak Nama. Yeah. 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 Is that Jalal Gibri? Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's another. Oh, I know. I... Do you want that one? You don't want that one? That's interesting because I was reading a book in. I was trying to read a book in Urdu. Yeah. And it was written. I can't remember who it was written by. It was about the Day of Judgment. The person, that had, the author, had written it as though well. it's the Day of Judgment and they're there and they're experiencing it. It was really interesting. Maybe this is like that as well. It's a novel. Can't see the back. We ended up buying three books uh, for 2,600 rupees 
which otherwise in the UK would have been around about 20 to 25 pounds. What does that mean that they can't be? They can't be copied if it's got already oh, put copies. We don't have a clue. We'll find out when we start. When we start reading them, yeah. Yeah, we haven't really bought any books here. We brought all of our books from the UK. I have so we'll have a look. Oh, have Online, yeah. Are they, real, are they real ones? No, they don't seem. Okay. So take your marriage to the mosque. I can't go to the mosque, it's only men now. I'll convert you. To what, man? <laughs> so. That is all now, guys. Inshallah, in the next vlog, we'll be back out in the market trying to get some deals. But for now, take care. Salaam alaikum.